Today, I want to go over the draft from the Dignitas vs. 100 Thieves series that happened earlier today in the first round of the LCS playoffs. Also, before we jump in, 64% of you aren't subscribed. It would really help out the channel if you feel like it to drop a subscribe to keep up to date with all of my future uploads. Anyways, Dignitas first pick Ezreal on blue side, which is solid, no complaints there. A uh, really versatile champion to be able to draft around. Uh, he kind of does everything really well. He can go forward, he can go backward. Uh, obviously mobile, uh, long range, great scaling. So good overall first pick for Dig, no real complaints there. 100 Thieves then go ahead and first rate, first rotate rather, uh, Azir and Misfortune. This is also very solid um, on theme, both scaling, both long range, and Misfortune has some really nice uh, ability to be drafted around, assuming they draft some kind of AoE CC for uh, in lockdown for her ultimate, uh, but really solid first rotation there as well. And then did go ahead and round out first phase with Cassante and Lilia. This is a little bit random to me, blind picking top lane so early. Um, like I, I've been saying, countering what the enemy just picked and picking the next OP is probably the way to go. So I don't really know why they blinded top here. I would have just uh, countered mid lane and then blind pick jungle probably, uh, or even support. Uh, but uh, the Cassante pick, it's not like it's bad. Uh, it's just kind of there. Uh, but the Lilia pick there is really, really nice. Uh, really glad to see her rising in priority. And then 100 Thieves round out first phase with Renekton, which is not good at all. I would say this is by far the weakest part of their draft. Uh, and really, they're drafting throughout this series. Um, even though they ended up winning all three games, uh, the Renekton picks uh, were probably the weakest part. Um, it just doesn't do well into the Cassante and lane, and it doesn't outscale. So I just don't think the champion is very good. 100 Thieves then go ahead and R4 Viego, which is very nice. Uh, I think it's a strong early pairing with Azir in that mid-jungle uh, duo, uh, so they definitely have some presence there at the level 6 mark. Uh, Viego also scales very well, um, and it's just a really strong AD skirmisher. I'd say if you're looking for that uh, archetype in the jungle, he's probably the way to go. And then dig round out with Corky and Rel. The Corky's very, very nice. The Rel is kind of just there. Uh, not super on theme with the rest of the team. With She really wants to face roll in there. Um, but Dig's comp is pretty nice aside from the Rel, and so is 100 Thieves aside from Renekton. So overall, we have a pretty even draft in game one. Um, I would give the whole draft edge to Dig, uh, just because they have a little better scaling with Cassante in the top lane, but it's not really like Cassante is going to be able to carry the game into Azir MF. So I would say game one is heading in on pretty even footing. Let's head over to the game two draft. So here we are in the game two draft, 100 Thieves did end up winning game one pretty convincingly. Actually, they won all three games pretty convincingly, I will say. Um, but again, Dig, go ahead and first pick the Zeri. Uh, so this is pretty similar to the Ezreal, pretty versatile champion you can draft around. Kind of does everything pretty well, and it's just kind of Zeri. Uh, so no complaints there, strong champion. Uh, so hopefully they can build around that pretty effectively. 100 Thieves. Go ahead and uh, first rotate Lilia and Smolder, which is very nice. Uh, the great thing about Smolder too right now is that he's a flex pick. With all of the uh, marksmen flexing into mid lane currently in the meta, Smolder can go bot lane, mid lane, or even top lane. I've seen him uh, a couple times too. So really strong uh, flex pick there potential for 100 Thieves. And now we want to see them hold that flex potential for as long as they possibly can. Also paired with the Lilia, really, really strong scaling already. So hopefully they continue with that scaling uh, theme throughout the draft. Dig second rotate, Renekton and Brand. Uh, so with the first pick Zeri, you go with the theme of scaling and team fight, and Renekton just completely counters that. Uh, so there's already kind of uh, incongruency in, in Dignitas' draft. The Brand matches very, very nicely and uh, wants to play for that scaling team fight. But this is the case with so many Renekton picks is that uh, a lot of the, the meta champions are uh, focused around scaling themes and you want to chill, get to those item break points around 25, 30 minutes and then start team fighting. And Renekton just doesn't fit that mold. I don't understand why he's picked so often. Anyways, 100 Thieves go ahead and round out first phase with the Jax, which is very, very nice. Uh, does well into the Renekton in lane and will hard outscale him. So again, 100 Thieves uh, with this game at least a, a pretty large scaling advantage. Uh, all three of these picks scale tremendously well. And with the Renekton stuck on Dig's side, I would definitely give 100 Thieves the advantage through phase one. 
Hundred Thieves then go ahead and pick R4 Rakan, which is, you know, fine. Uh, he's a very versatile champion. I don't personally like him all that much unless he's going to be picked with Zaya, which who knows, maybe they'll do here. Um, but he does offer the engage. He offers PL support. Again, very versatile. He can do a lot of things as a champion, which is very, very nice to have in a draft. And then did go ahead and round out with Callista and Renata. So you can see this draft, Dignitas is completely lost. They've split straight down the middle in terms of themes with scaling, uh, with Zarya and Brand, and then full early and mid game with Callista and Renekton. So they don't really know which direction they want to go. And that's um, with the Zaya round out on R5 for 100 Thieves. Uh, they're definitely going to be in an advantageous spot here in game two with consistent theme of scaling and team fight. Um, they have a really well-rounded comp, uh, solid sign lane pressure, and tremendous scaling uh, th throughout the entire comp, uh, not like Dignitas where they've split uh, really, really decisively between scaling and early game. So 100 Thieves with a huge draft win in game two. Let's check out the game three draft. So here we are in game three, and this time Dignitas first pick Azir. They first picked a different champion on blue side every single game, and all three of them have been pretty solid picks. The Azir obviously offers really great themes of scaling and long range, and also he does pretty well in the lane phase. I think uh, with this Marksman mid lane meta, a lot of people have gotten kind of lost with Azir, um, but he's, he hasn't been weak. He has never gotten nerfed. It's just the explosion of Marksman in the mid lane, I feel like has kind of forgotten about a lot of these really strong mage type, type picks. Um, but Azir's always been there and he's always been a strong option. Hunter Thieves go ahead and pull out a great first rotation of Lilia and Zeri. Really, really strong. Lilia, I think, is probably the strongest jungler in the game right now, in my opinion, along with the Brand and the Karthus. I think Zyra is, has been moved down a, a tier, or maybe a half a tier. I think Lilia is just so ridiculously powerful with her clear speed, with her ganking potential at level 6, and really, I think the big thing that makes her really annoying is the passive movement speed stack up. She just becomes super annoying to deal with, and really is only countered by really hard targeted CC. And then obviously the Zeri pairs very well uh, with that, with scaling and playing for those objective team fights in the late game. Dig round out first phase with uh, Maokai and Renekton. The Maokai is solid, although it's double AP uh, mid jungle duo, which makes it really easy for uh, 100 Thieves to itemize Merc Treads. Uh, but again, ho uh, hopefully the Maokai is doing full tank build and not this trash uh, AP mixture thing uh, that we've seen uh, Maokai players doing recently. Assuming it is a tank Maokai, very, very nice. Um, but again, the Renekton pick is just super random and doesn't fit here at all. They did the same thing in game two, where they go scaling in first pick, and then they pick Renekton, which is completely opposite to that. And so again, Dignitas has split themes here, and is going to be really lost throughout the rest of the draft. If they commit to early game, Azir is going to be lost. If they commit to late game scaling, Renekton is going to be lost. And so there's no really way, real great way to remedy this in, in Dignitas drafts. Um, so one of those champions, one of those teams is just going to have to be abandoned, essentially. 100 Thieves go ahead and R4 Nautilus. This is fine. It's not bad. It's not great. I'm personally not a fan of Nautilus, but with Leona Band, he's probably the next best engaged tank support there is, although he is really easily counterable in draft. With Nick Dignitas hovering Ezreal, it's going to be really hard for uh, Nautilus to play the game, and if I were Dignitas here, I would be insta-locking Braum, and there's the Braum hover. Uh, Braum essentially makes Nautilus not unable to play the game. Nautilus hooks in, Braum Ws to that target and puts up his shield, and Nautilus is essentially just stuck there, Braum stunned, and he can't really do anything. So that's a really nice round out from Dig, but again, since they committed more to that scaling team fight uh, with Ezreal Braum, the Renekton is going to be really lost and not have a lot of value in this game, especially into a scaling fighting tank like Cassante. And 100 Thieves pull out a really fantastic last pick on R5 with the Senna. Really, really great here. Uh, great scaling across the board. Again, a huge draft win for 100 Thieves, and it's really nice to see another Senna lane uh, picked up with the Senna Nautilus. Really, really nice to see Senna back. And um, again, huge draft win for 100 Thieves in game two and game three. Game one was a bit even, uh, but I definitely would have given the, the draft to 100 Thieves uh, win in that game. And, you know, overall, I'm really excited for 100 Thieves. I think they drafted really well today. I think they played really well today. And I would definitely think that they're an underestimated pick to contest that top echelon of teams in the LCS playoffs. Over on Dig's side, it definitely wasn't the Dig season they were hoping for. Uh, you know, maybe all these players are just old and washed. We'll have to see what they do next year. But for now, 100 Thieves is looking very strong in the playoffs. And I'm excited to see what they do in coming weeks. Thanks for watching.
see you next time